Hello everybody, today I'd like to show you a little project of mine that I will be working on until my own build will kick in. I'm going to build X99 system and custom case, a lot of exciting parts, but nothing arrived yet, so I have some free cycles to work on. So I offer it on my store and um, in my forum that anybody who have a really potent system would like me to build it, I will consider it so I can make a little YouTube series to fill a void. So one of my clients came forward and um, asked me to help him with his build. And this actually won't be a complete build, so to speak, because the system, as you can see right there, it's already existing. So, but it has a few problems. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to improve it a little bit of the existing platform. The system itself quite potent. I would like to walk you quickly through the hardware components. And after that, we'll look on what's wrong not wrong, but not optimal with water cooling here. So we have a Maximus 6 motherboard here. We have a 2 GTX 780s in SLI, uh, Intel i7-4770, Vigilance RAM, two Intel uh, SSDs. So really expensive stuff, a lot of good goodies. Quad radiators and push-pull, three pumps, more about that later. And um, Everything is water cooled. Motherboard is water cooled, CPU is water cooled, and the GPU is water cooled. So it's crammed with the stuff up to its tits. But nevertheless, it has a couple issues that we have to discuss. First of all, I would like to talk a little bit about this case. Um, I never saw in person 900D. And uh, what I heard from people on forums and everything, that it's, it's pretty good alternative to case labs but at lower cost. Also, some people complain that it's a little bit flimsy and things like this. So, this first time ever, I was able to see the case in person. Uh, it looks pretty good on pictures, but um, I would say that I'm personally not very impressed with this particular case. It's built as cheap as it gets. Uh, all panels and everything. Uh, so thin. I don't even know if it's even possible to make uh, those uh, <coughs> metal parts even thinner than that. So it's, it's absolutely cheap case. Uh, although it's relatively big, uh, I, I, I'm, I'm really unimpressed. The, the biggest part that totally killed me here is was this uh, top panel. As you can see, I'll show you quickly. So um, they build it such ways that you have a quad radiator on top. So it's, it was a good move uh, and thought as a good idea. But they decided to put this panel with a filter that's so dense, it's basically as good as a solid panel. So there's no freaking air coming through it. Uh, so I don't know what the Corsair was thinking, but it was absolutely a dumb idea to do it this way. I am just will be as bland as I can right? in, on this subject. So what I'm going to do, I will suggest client try to remove this um, a filter and just leave a mesh so the air at least can go straight through the system and uh, <coughs> give you some cooling performance because it's, it's just no point to have a radiator here that you barely have any air going through. So um, I'm not sure if it will be easy task or not because um, the whole assembly is uh, really cheap. There's a very thin metal that I need to bend those latches on the sides and I think they probably will be break. Um, so I'm a little concerned if it can be done um, safely, but I'll do my best. But it's definitely this filter has to go. Anybody who has this, get rid of this bloody thing because you're just compromising everything you're building. What's the point to spend a uh, thousand bucks on your cooling and just kill it with this uh, part that costs five bucks? All right. Let's now look in more details in true water cooling part of this build that we actually will be working on. You can see that it has uh, everything water cooled, motherboard is water cooled, graphical cards is water cooled, CPU is water cooled, and we have two radiators and huge reservoir in the middle. The whole system contains almost three liters of the liquid. And, big bummer, nothing was done to add drain port or fill port. So now, in order to change it, we need to find a way to safely remove liquid, and this will be quite a massive job. I can see why client would like to offload it on somebody else, and don't even blame him for doing so. It's a not very pleasant task to uh, unplug tube somewhere, 
and you, while you have a liquid gushing out and you try to catch it with some bucket or something you try to drain it so this is number one change that we have to perform in this particular build we have to add normal drain ports so if you need to change the liquid just open it and drain it without much trouble so I'm not going to do it here in the office because it could be messy you can get things spilled and ruin your carpet or your clothes so I, later I will be moving this uh, build in the back of our warehouse and then we can perform the task I'll try to film it if I can and hopefully I'll try to uh, show you some techniques that allows you to get out of the situation if you put yourself in into the system that has no draining point and also I think it's a good idea to add fill port as well for the same reasons at least help you to change the liquid when you need to the second problem with this particular build is um, the fact that it using only straight connectors so there's no angle adapters whatsoever it's compression fittings um, nice tubing uh, but it's um, all bands just done with the uh, ability of flexible tube to bend and in certain parts it stretch almost beyond the limit for example this part of the build that you will have a tube coming out of um, bridge between uh, cards and going into motherboard block you can see that the tube is bent so hard it's almost collapsing the client was lucky enough to have a tube with a really massive wall 3858 tubing has a, I don't know it's probably like almost three millimeters thickness of the wall and it's really hard to collapse it but it's almost collapsing so if you would use different tubing for example like 716 or so three eight half inch which is a oh, thickness of the wall is just like one millimeter it's probably will be collapsing by now and it can create a big problem for you because you have no liquid flowing say everything will get overheat and uh, you know nothing good coming of that so um, definitely we have to start adding some angle adapters and make tube routing a little bit easier let's talk about radiators a bit more now so as i said already we have two quads both in push pull position but there's a couple issue with those I already spoke about the stop cover that's too restrictive that we'll fix but also I see the client what the client tried to do he just collected all ideas about whatever the best performance is possible and try to implement it but it wasn't done right so to speak because look we have this bottom rod in uh, with eight fans but the last portion of the radiator with the last fan is basically hitting power supply almost like a wall so no air coming through the section of the radiator which means that client reduced our quadra to the triple because there's no air coming in so no heat exchange right so this, what's the point to make this push pull position if you basically make things even worse right so what we're going to do we were going to remove one of the fans from from the end of this rod and um, that will allow us to full airflow through entire data surface uh, on the top we also have an incomplete push pull so to speak because the last fan didn't even have enough space clearance with the motherboard uh, all connections here with the tubing so we have uh, four fans on top three on the bottom but let's look in this this way we have three hot components in the system so two gpus one cpu motherboard doesn't really add that much so can be kind of ignored so in order to work with the system even triple would be sufficient in a way um, with overclocking maybe a little bit more but we have two quads which means that we have more than double of what is minimum required so it's absolute total overkill so adding push pull doesn't really uh, make any difference because we're already beyond saturation point so what I'm going to suggest in order to improve looks and reduce power consumption of the rig, also it's minimal, we're going to remove completely one layer of fans, lift radiator up, and so it will be give us a little bit better look on the motherboard area. Um, maybe we'll improve lighting, but um, definitely this push pull make absolutely no sense, serve no poor purpose, and um, that's something we will will fix. Let's check out back of the case now. So what we have here, another little overkill that uh, serves no purpose, we have uh, three pumps. So I understood what's happened that um, a client purchased one 
pump first and they decide to go for the uh, dual pump setup, which is great. But um, nevertheless, because you already had three pumps, he decided to put all three um, into the system. I think it's also absolutely serve like no purpose so whatsoever. This complete entire build would be working on one pump without much issue. Two is great for a little bit better performance and uh, for redundancy obviously. But the third pump uh, doesn't really make any difference or make difference so negligible that it just adds clutter to the system, uh, makes wiring more complicated uh, and make tube routing more complicated. So this is definitely something we'll get rid of and uh, we'll just remove the pump, leave this as a dual pump setup and one pump will be stay with the client as stand up uh, standby unit. So if something happened, you already have one on hand. Right. Speaking about um, cable management and everything, you know, I'm not really good at that. You probably noticed that I, I'm not obsessive about it and don't uh, usually give you perfect results. So I'll try to do my best uh, to, to make uh, cable routing nice, but it's not my area of expertise and um, I can not promise you that I will create something beautiful such as uh, other guys can do much better than me. So, uh, let me think if I miss something. Um, no, I guess that's about it. So the plan, I need to drain the system, which is really a separate challenge. I will need to make a fill port and drain port. We improve a little bit with um, airflow in, in a, with the radiator setup. And definitely the biggest job will be trying to improve tube routing as much as we could. Because there's tons of things that are going on. We have uh, so many connections, it will be quite challenging. But with angled adapters, I, I, I'm pretty confident we can make things look a little bit nicer and um, improve overall look of the system. And after that, we'll see if we do any beautification or not. All right, so that's it. Uh, now I need to change and I need to move the system on the back of the office and I'll try to make a draining exercise and we'll see how it will go.